Good morning, everybody, and happy Saturday. I am pulling some weekend sales to share with you. We're going to start with this blouse by Rana Gill. I just purchased this last week. Uh, this is a beautiful blouse with these gorgeous studded details on the collar. I listed this for $65, and I got an offer for $50, which I was happy to accept. I think I paid about $7 for this, so we're good with that. The next item that sold was a sweater from that same day. Um, it was a Madewell sweater right there. It's up high. Let me grab this. Okay. This sold for $30. I picked this up without looking at the comps. I just loved this sweater so much. It's a size large. It is a cardigan. And the comps weren't really that great, but I was pretty confident I would land right about here. I'm guessing both of these went to viewers. Or I just got really lucky um, because they sold really quickly after my video went out. Listed this, I believe, for $38 and it sold for $30. So either $30, maybe I sent out offers or I got an offer for $30. So this may have had discounted shipping. This was, I believe, $7 or $8. This is the store that's really gone up in price. This was the other store. Um, but I mean, I would say combined $15 for both of these and combined they sold for $80. So not bad. So last week for most of the week, I had a buy one, get one sale, which I'm kind of thinking I'm going to do indefinitely while I try to clear out some inventory, only on pre-owned stuff. If there's something you want that's a uh, buy one, get one, and it's new with tag, just send me a DM and we can work something out, hopefully. Because some of my stuff, even though it's new with tag, is older, so I would be willing to give a really good deal on it. This next bundle, however, I need this Madewell shirt, and it's up there. Hi. Uh, that my buyer got for $25, and then there was like a baby sling that um, sold for free. So let me grab that. So here's the Madewell shirt. It's just very basic, but nice. Beautiful cinnamon color. And where is... The other thing I believe is going to be here in the hard goods section, although I'm not sure. Let me double check on that. So this is the sling right here. I was a little apprehensive to pick this up because anytime it has to do with kids and safety, I don't know, I just get a little nervous. But this just works, you know, like a little strap here. Very pretty. Um, and the baby sits in here. This is the tag. Pretty sure I got this at the bins. Balboa baby. Yeah, so this was a really great bargain because I had this priced at 24, this at 25, and they got them both for $25. All right, these last two sales are both Poshmark, and then I will show you what I sold from eBay in there. The, the last two for Poshmark were sweatshirts. So this is a Scotch and Soda sweatshirt, also from my most recent haul or one of my recent hauls. I'm not sure when this video is going out. Um, I wasn't sure how this was going to do because the first comp that I found was only $16 sold comp. But then I saw a comp for like $46 or $45. Um, Scotch and Soda is a great brand, pretty expensive retail, at least in my experience, um, inconsistent with reselling. However, this only cost $1.99 and I picked it up. I believe I had it listed at $45. My buyer offered me $25, which was way too low right out of the gate. But I countered at 30 and there we go. So it basically landed right in the middle between the $16 sale and the $45 sale. So I was really happy with that, especially with just a $2 investment. And it flipped in, you know, probably less than four days. This last sale I was really happy about because I was visiting my mom in the hospital and then the sale came through and it was a full price sale for this oh not this one this is a justin bieber sweatshirt that's been here for a bit it's gold and hold on let me grab it all right here it is this girl supporting girl sweatshirt i just love this i think i paid like eight or 850 and i want to say this was like a youtuber's merch which i had no idea when i got it but it's been sitting for quite some time I've sent offers out as low as half off uh, for this was $45. And then out of nowhere, it was a full price sale, which made me so happy because I think I actually paid like $8 for this back in the day. So that was great. Full price sale. Now let's switch gears to great sales on eBay. One of them is definitely going to be over here because it was a clock plate that my girlfriend Kim 
who comes to the bins with me all the time, pointed out while we were shopping at Goodwill in Boston. And I took a chance on it and it sold for $30, $35. Let me look. Here it is. And this is also the moment I think, why did I buy a plate that can break? <laughs> and it sold on eBay, so I'm nervous. And I'm like, does it work with the battery? All these things. This is when I get stressed out about eBay. But I hope everything goes well. Yeah, this I think we paid $3.99 for. And yeah, I was, I'm always always happy to move anything that's breakable. So on one hand, super happy I moved it. And on the other hand, I hope I package it up okay. It shouldn't be too bad. It shouldn't be too bad. Lots of bubble wrap. All right, star of the day, big sale. I was super excited about this. This was from my recent estate sale. This bag means nothing to me. This is just the bag it came in. This Michael Kors purse, which is absolutely gorgeous. I am just, this is beautiful. This is Michael Kors collection. Um, it was in a very dark attic when I found it and I looked at it and I thought, this is really cute. Didn't realize that it was Michael Kors, which I don't think would have excited me too much until I realized that it was Michael Kors collection and it was new with tag. And the price tag is $990. And I probably, I mean, my average cost of goods at this sale is probably like $15 an item. If that, this particular day, I had a big bin that she charged me $300 for. So it was, um, it was a different type of a buy that the first time I went to the estate sale, I was paying by the item. Anyway, I had this listed for $4.99 and I do believe somebody saw my video because I woke up to a comment that said, is that bag still available? And before I had a chance to answer, I received an offer, I'm assuming it's from the same person, for $374, which I accepted. I sold the Gucci bag that I paid $10 for, that sold for $500, this sold for $374. The entire estate sale cost me $512, so I'm doing pretty well with that sale. And this is just an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous bag, and I'm excited to ship it out. Hey everyone, we're back with day two of um, sales. I was not home on Sunday, so this is Monday morning and I'm grabbing everything from the weekend. So today we're just covering weekend sales and I guess if anything else comes in this morning, we're gonna start with these Converse All-Stars. These are really cute. They are from the Converse U-Line and they are customizable. I had them listed for $65, $64 and I sent an offer out for $50 and my buyer accepted. They were $12 and change before my discount at Savers. Um, so I'm really excited that those sold and they're really cute and mint condition. This next sale was the shock of the weekend. I picked up these Ferragamos because they were such a great deal and they were in such beautiful condition and I thought that the style was pretty timeless. I love that little um, like kind of a snake pattern toe cap. Um, they're beautiful. So I listed them for $89, really not knowing if they would, you know, sit for two years and then me end up sell selling them for like $39 or $25. You just never know. I never know with this brand, but I did find some decent comps. I saw, I saw that this same pair sold for $50, listed them for $89 and within hours, like less than three hours, they sold for full asking price. And it was before my video went live so these were in the same video these were also only priced at five dollars and change before my discount so these cost under five dollars they sold in just a few hours for 89 dollars. sometimes you just get lucky and you're at the right place at the right time for somebody who's looking for what you have in their size so this i consider a very lucky sale and i'm very happy about it Next up is a swimsuit that sold from the brand Albion. A lot of the items that I'm sharing today were featured in my last video. This is another one. So all three of these items were from the same haul. Let me grab this. Okay, here it is. Uh, this sold for $50 and initially my buyer offered me $40 um, and then I think $42 and then I countered. She came back at $50 and I sold it. Because it was such a quick flip, I accepted the offer. Then I went on to the website and I saw that this is still on their website for $138. I really, really, really believe that I probably should have held out for this. And usually I don't second guess that um, decision. 
because I like to just move things. I paid $7.99 before the discount, sold for $50, so no complaints there. It was a really great profit margin. I just think this probably would have sold in the $60 to $75 range based on comps, um, but I'm still happy it's moving. So $50, $50, and $89. Crazy. Some good comps from this haul. Another full price sale. Man, I've been shocked by some of the full price sales lately. Uh, this was featured in a video, so it may have sold to a viewer. I'm not positive, but this shirt is absolutely beautiful. The brand is called Verb. This is made in India. It's this bohemian um, metallic peasant style top. There's the label. And I priced this at $89. Some of the comps were over $120. So I felt pretty confident about pricing it here, but I assumed someone would send me an offer. I did pay $20 for this. And these are some of the pretty details on it. Really nice, oversized, beautiful statement piece. Really gorgeous, $89. Um, and all of these things, you know, obviously sold pretty quickly because these are all hauls within the past um, week. Okay, here we go with another full price sale. My mind is blown by this. Um, okay, this is a brand that is new to me, featured in a recent video, but these are probably a couple weeks old. Meguiar is the brand. Uh, these are called the Majorel jeans. They're very lightweight, very soft. Uh, they have the raw hem in a flare. Definitely on trend. I knew these were gonna do well. I priced them. I mean, some of these comps are above $89. So that's cool with the little three loops here for the belt. Anyways, I priced them at $85, not $89. $85, full price sale. They are a size 29. Size 29 has been by far my most popular size these days. As you can see, this is the only bin that has space. I store my jeans according to size, and you can see all of these other ones are kind of overflowing. But the 28s and the 29s keep selling. I will add up all of my weekend sales for you at the end of this video before I go thrifting. Another full price sale. Um, <laughs> these boxers just crack me up. All right, so Lord & Taylor was going out of business at the Natick Mall, and I went in before they sold and I picked up some stuff. These are men's boxer briefs. The price tag that they had was $19.95. I quickly ran comps and they were pretty decent. So <laughs> they have this um, interior netted pouch and they seem to be a big hit. I've sold two of these. I think I paid under $3 for these and these sold for $20. I have them in multiple sizes. I've sold two so far. Both have sold for full asking price. I think I even had a coupon that made it less than the $3. I think they were priced at three and then they were discounted from there. It was too good to pass up because this was a really random pickup, but so far so good. I've definitely made my money back and then some on these. Have you ever heard of these? Frigo, the Cool Max stretch collection. These are the boxers, okay. I think this could be the most full price sales I have ever, ever had in a single weekend. Next is a full price sale on a Ralph Lauren belt that I picked up at a rummage sale that was new with tag. I think that's it. It sold for $32. I'm gonna need to dig a little bit. And Lumpy is whining a little. So I will put a picture of what sold on the screen here and grab these in a little bit. Okay, this was not a full price sale, but it was still pretty decent. Um, these Polo Ralph Lauren jeans, um, I picked up when I went to that all day, that town-wide yard sale with my mom. And this was actually at a thrift store that we jumped into because it was raining and everything in the store that day was just $4, even new with tag items. So I picked these up. I had them listed at $79. The comps were really promising. I think it's just a style that is pretty popular for them. And um, I got a $60 offer on eBay, which I accepted and they've already paid. So these are heading out. That was great. And that was probably two weeks ago that I picked those up. All right, last sale besides that belt was this beautiful Madewell top. Also from my most recent haul, uh, depending on when you saw this, this was that Savers haul with the shoes um, that I just shared. I listed this for $38. This was the first thing that I found when I popped into Savers and it was priced just at $4 and change. I um, listed this for $38. 
got like five or six likes pretty quickly. Sent out offers for $30 with discounted shipping. And then my buyer, I think her name was Amy. Thank you, Amy. Countered uh, with a $24 offer, which was fair. I wanted a little bit more for it, but it was a quick flip and I didn't pay much for this. And what I love about this the buttons in the back this is like such a great summer piece so yeah $24 and also um, if you're new to Poshmark when somebody counters your offer they lose the discounted shipping so when you send offers to likers you are required to include a shipping discount so I typically do $5.95 or $5.99, whatever that is, is as discounted shipping because now shipping is close to $8 now it's $7 and change I should know these things so they save a couple dollars when you send an offer. Um, so instead of being a $30 sale, it's more like a $28 sale because they take the cost of shipping out of the seller's end. So that being said, when somebody counters an offer that you've sent, they lose that discounted shipping. So you can add that back on. So instead of a $28 sale, essentially, which would have been $30 with discounted shipping, she countered with $4 less at $24. So it really isn't so bad. And it was a quick sell. And yeah, so that is everything from this morning. If I sell more items, I will let you know. Let's go upstairs and see what Lumpy's up to. Hello. You want to come out? You're not squawking anymore. You just want to see mama. You know, I have to pull my sails when you're asleep because you're not in the basement. I don't think you're ready for pulling sales with me yet, right? You like to bite everything? So it looks like he's really ready to come out, but the second I open this door, he usually rolls over for a belly rub, right? What's next? What's next? I'll give you a belly rub. You look like an actual teddy bear this morning. Is Auntie Tina gonna be here soon? I love you. I love you. Whoa, I've been carrying stuff in here. So for today's ship and shop video, we're doing things a little bit differently because I did not need to shop for any of the things I'm about to show you. My good friend Maureen, who knows what I do, occasionally will give me a ring and say, I have a couple bags for you. So she came over the day before Father's Day with two big bags. She hadn't yet met Lumpy. She brought Lumpy a little toy and she brought me two bags of clothing. And I gave her husband a Tiki J shirt. Thank you so much to everybody who has tuned in to my previous Thriftcast video where we made the big announcement that my husband Jay and I have launched an apparel company called Tiki J Athletic Wear. If you wanna know all the history behind it, you can check out that Thriftcast video. I'll link it in the description. Um, but my website is live and we are selling his things through my website and having so much fun. I'm pretty sure the sweatshirts have sold out. We're going to do a pre-order for those of you who asked for all three designs. I won't bore you too much with those details, but thank you to everybody who ordered. Um, the response was really heartwarming. I just lost one of my lights. Okay, we're gonna work with this. My assistant's coming soon and I wanna get through all of these things so that we can get them listed for you. I wanna try something different with this haul. I'm gonna share with you my idea at the end of this video, unless I already put it in the thumbnail. My friend Maureen has three kids. They are about my kid's age, maybe just a little bit older. This is a combination of clothing from all of her kids. I'm finding that at least in my household, the kids, now that they've all been in college or they've been away from home for any length of time, when they come home and they look through their drawers, they're like, you know what? I haven't worn this since my freshman year in high school. It's time to get rid of it. And I feel like there's been a huge purge of clothing in my home. Let me know in the comments if you have college age students and there's been like a recent purge. Okay, we're gonna start with this soft and sexy American Eagle. I really like the color of this. It's a little turtleneck, very soft. Great for the fall, great for back to school. This is a size large, American Eagle. And I think in large part, the comps on a lot of these will be between like $15 and say $40. So we'll see how everything goes. This is J. Crew Factory. This is a nice Henley. It is a size extra large, 
really nice just a nice basic this is a fun sweater i think i saw this was gap they have quite a few gap things i love this sweater i don't really pick up too much green but i've been loving green lately i don't know if it's summer or because everything's so lush right now but i've been really liking green i've been liking green fountain pens green ink <laughs> Uh, this sweater is really cute. It is also a size large. This is Beach Lunch Lounge, size medium. I think one of Maureen's daughters is a medium. I would say Maureen's about a size medium large, and then she has a daughter who is a size large, maybe XL. So we have a nice variety of sizes here. This is super cute. Very lightweight summer shirt, A-line with a little ruffle at the hem kind of boho feeling. This one is a size medium. Beach Lunch Lounge, so cute. These looked really comfortable. These are airy offline. Or is all airy offline or is that a line within airy? Let me know if you know. This just says airy. I feel like a lot of the leggings say airy offline. These are the paper bag waistline. Um, that kind of tensile chambray feeling with the raw hem, ankle length, super cute. Size large nice and stretchy, really cute. I feel like you could really dress those up or down. Um, Maureen included a couple Athleta bathing suit tank top, tankinis. So this is a 40D and I think these will do pretty decent just because a lot of people have their own bottoms. I don't typically pick up single pieces for bikinis, but if it's a good brand like this and with Athleta, they have your bra size specific. And I think Title IX does the same thing. I'm sure other companies do as well, um, but that's a real bonus here. So that's really nice. People can shop by their bra size, which I love. This is Gap. It looks like it's new without tag. This is really pretty. Um, it is a size medium. It's this cute little summer dress, such cute things. And it kind of has this little strappy back. I slept at my mom's last night and we just launched the website because my video just went live last night. You'll probably be seeing this on like June 21st or 2nd. My video went live on the 19th and I woke up, we had $1,200 in sales and I could not believe it. And most of them were sweatshirts, which we ordered the least of. So we have to call our manufacturer, see how quickly, there's usually like a three week turnaround, um, but we're just so excited, but I'm a little, like I woke up before 5 a.m. I slept at my mom's. She's just about two weeks out of knee surgery. This Thursday will be two weeks. She goes for her post-op um, soon. And I was just, I had the new website, the, the launch of the Tiki J stuff. I put a video out. I couldn't sleep. So I woke up this morning and I got back early to the house, took Lumpy for a walk and Tina's gonna be here in about a half an hour. So I just wanted to film too, but my head is a little spinny right now. These are just really fun boho pants. It looks like the, uh, the brand name has faded off, but I know I've seen this at like TJ Maxx. So there's like the label, it looks like it's worn off, but these are a size medium, really cute. Look at those, love them. Here we have uh, another American Eagle Outfitter. This is a size medium. This is super cute. They definitely have a boho vibe, these girls. Nice, stretchy, kind of lightweight. The hood is lined. This is really well made. It looks really nice, very stretchy. Oh, love it. This is United by Blue. I don't know what that is. Looks like a national park or just like a little camp scene. United by Blue, I don't know that. Isn't that nice? Kind of this heathered hoodie, so cute. What size is this? I don't know if this was, this is a medium. What do we have next? I know there were a couple Lucky Brand t-shirts. Here's one of them. I have a feeling this may have been Maureen's Lucky Brand, again, size medium. This one is almost uh, like a burnout very very lightweight you probably want to wear a little cami under this but i love the butterflies and the flowers i find it fascinating the things that are given to me and i'm so grateful i don't do consignment for anybody who's wondering i've done consignment for maybe two or three items tops in my whole career i just don't like the 
uh, the strings attached. If, if I'm gonna buy something off of somebody, I will give them money. But a lot of my friends just go to savers. So sometimes they're just like, do you wanna take it? Or I'll just say, whatever you don't want, even if I don't take anything in the bag, I will still bring their items to to savers because then I'll get a 20% off coupon with a donation. So even if my neighbors give me things and I don't really like any of it, or maybe I pick one or two items from two or three bags, it's still worth it to me to get the 20% off coupon so I can shop. So I think it's win all around. This is another gap dress. Looks like the tag was removed. This looks like it's been washed though. This is a size small, very classic little denim dress. More that chambray, very lightweight, has the smocking in the back. I love these denim dresses with um, like a jean jacket, like a white jean jacket or a cardigan sweater. Flip flops for summer, just so cute and versatile. This is inside out, but it's an American Eagle cropped mock top in this nice light blue. This is really cute. It kind of looks the same inside out and not, but I have to do this. Cute, right? This is airy. Looks like maybe a pair of shorts. Yeah, just just like little cozy lounge shorts around the house. This is looks like a dress or a skirt. It's also so much fun when people give you things and you just don't know. You just don't know what's around the bend. <laughs> this is American Rag, which I think is sold at JCPenney. So this is just a nice lightweight, very stretchy, soft fabric. Maxi skirt. This would be cute with just like a black t-shirt tied in a knot, some sneakers, a little pair of Keds. Does anybody wear Keds anymore? This is actually new with tag. It says Urban Coco, size extra large, just like a little boutique shop. Uh, this looks cute. This is a dress, I think, or maybe a cover-up. It's very lightweight. Here we go. This has a little psychedelic vibe to it in the back and boho, really cute. Can't tell if it's a tunic or if it's meant to be a dress or a cover up. What do you think? Because it's however you want to wear it. I would probably wear it as a cover up. This is so soft. I showed this to Rocco, but he just purged. So right after my kids get rid of a ton of stuff, they're like, no mom, don't show me anything. <laughs> I just cleared my drawers. They're breathing for the first time. This is an EMS shirt and an extra large. This is nice. This looks like men's really soft. This is like brand new. Very, very nice. This is just like a little peplum top. Um, I would say short waisted, you know, here's another athleta bathing suit top. These are really nice. Is this the same size? 38 D double D. Yeah. Was the other one 38 or 40? I can't remember, but this is really cute. I like that this has straps on the shoulders. I'm more of a shoulder strap person. If you have a big chest, I think halter is sometimes tough. I love this. And then you can wear your own, your own bottom. Oh, this was the big surprise of the bag. This is a better sweater from Patagonia. How nice is that with the zip on the sleeve? I don't know if that's the men's or the women's. I feel like the men's has the zip on the, the arm. The women's is here. I'm not sure. It should say here. But is the size large? I think this is a women's large. Isn't that nice? Better sweater? I mean, just this alone is a great item to get. That's just like the icing on the cake here. Promessa, made in the USA, a little boutique -y, very lightweight, little boho tie-dye dress, really cute. This is like a little, a little boho haul. We got some pants here. These are airy and they are a size large ribbed like velvet and stretchy wide leg do you hear the little squeaker in the other room i just put him down but we're almost done so we'll bring lumpy in to say hello at the end uh, these are american eagle stretch they are a size us8 very cute and the style is the mom jean this is a popular style these are really cute this is also new with tag um, from H&M. Just this really cute lavender smocked camisole. Very stretchy. And this is a size medium. I love it. And this is, I think I caught a glimpse of this earlier. This is Free People, size small. Little corduroy skirt, a little mini skirt. Be great for back to school. Love the color. Here we have American Eagle tie-dye. 
Okay, this is another pair of pants and these are airy. I love the airy pants. I feel like they have a nice little following airy. These are loungy. Most of airy stuff is very loungy. Jogger style at the bottom in this great orangey rust color. They kind of have a burnout look to them. Like I can kind of see the light through them. Semi sheer pockets. We love pockets. Oh, and look at this cute sweater. Oh, this is new with tag too. Freshman 1996. This is really cute. Would go great with all of the denim, but it's inside out. Here we go. Isn't this adorable? That is a size large, cropped. Super cute. I thought this was really cool. It's Ann Taylor. I love this vest. And vests are in. And this is like such a classic black vest. Could be worn in so many different ways. I would picture it with a fun white blouse underneath and some funky shoes and some like ankle length jeans and an edgy purse would be so cute. Look at that. What size is this? It's got the tag on it. It's size 10, be too small for me. Otherwise I would keep this. I love it. I need to get a nice vest like this. Let me know in the comments if you have one for sale in like a size extra large, longer length. I bought a couple black sweater vests in the winter and I really like them, but I would like something like this. These jeans I thought were really cute. They're Gap 1969. Can't see the size on them. It looks like they ripped the size out. But look at how cool they are. I bet these are like a 14. They're wide leg, cropped, two-tone. These are super hippie looking. I love them. These are very free people looking with the light denim on the inside. And that is my shop part of today's ship and shop, which is fantastic. Here's the fun news. I am going to list all of these items and nothing will be over $25. So I think that will be really fun, including the Patagonia. So that's like a little bit of a thank you to my YouTube viewers. Hopefully you guys see this and someone from YouTube goes and purchases it before somebody else does. Maybe I'll list that last so this video goes live first so one of you guys has the opportunity to buy it. Um, these jeans are great. I'm not gonna put anything over $25 in this entire haul. Thank you to my friend Maureen if you happen to be watching for gifting me all of these items. I hope Joe is loving his Tiki J shirt. Thank you guys again for all the love with our new business venture. More details to come. Remember to tell your friends what you do. <laughs> it's crazy to me the opportunities I've come into um, in my profession just because people know that I'm a reseller. There are things that I wouldn't spend the time doing. You know, I pay for someone to help me clean my house. Every time we dine out, we're paying somebody to cook a meal for us. Some people don't like dealing with donations or reselling. If you let people know what you do, you never know what might come your way. So I really appreciate anybody who's ever given me stuff for my business. Yeah, don't be afraid to let people know what you do. It's an awesome way to just keep the cycle of clothing going, entering it back into the system so we're not buying fast fashion, we're buying secondhand. Um, it's all good stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, like and subscribe. Oh my gosh, I gotta go get Lumpy. He's a little sleepy. I had to pull him out of his out of his crate. Well, you've just settled in and you've been whining so much, baby. Say hi to everybody. Say hello. Can you say hi to your friends? Are you a good boy? Are you getting so big? Yes. <gasps> Look, Tina's here. <gasps> Where's Tina? Where's Tina? <gasps> this is where he gets really so excited. He pees. We're going to go outside so you don't pee on Tina. Mm. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Love you. Bye.